Today I'd like to demonstrate on how to remove and put on a new woody grip. So we'll begin by taking off the old grip and it's fairly simple. You either put it in a vise or this is a what is known as a jaw horse. You can put it in there and to remove I just use a, a regular utility knife. They have tools to remove it. You don't need it. A utility knife will do it. So first of all, what you'd want to do is put it in your vise, clamp it down, and um, go ahead and just put a, a slice right down the center. Do that a couple of times, and you can feel the shaft on the other end. That's all there is to it. Then you can go ahead and start peeling back the old rubber grip to install our new woody grip. All there is to it. Boom. So get rid of that. Then next what you want to do is make sure this is clean. Sometimes they won't come off this clean and you'll have to go ahead and scrape the, uh, the old tape off of it. In this case uh, there's really not much on there and it just came off just like that. Now to get started what you want to do is a couple of things and what you want to do is first of all get your grip that you're going to use this is one of our new this happens to be the dog house this is one of our new grips by Woody so what I like to do is go ahead and just do a pre-run and I get an idea and I can put your finger right at the end and that gives you an idea of where to start the tape. So what I do is just mark it there. But before you even do that, I almost blew it already. I want you to put on if you, the number 10 O-ring. If something gets missing or something, you know, if it doesn't come in the packaging, which I don't see it won't, but all of it. <laughs> excuse me, is a number 10 O-ring. You can get them at Home Depot, you can get them at Lowe's, any of those guys. And all you do is put it on, just like that. Again, you can, what this really does, it uh, really cleans this end up. Uh, we've chamfered the bottom of it here, so this rubber uh, O-ring sits right in here and cleans it all up. That's it's really only its purpose. So again, you can go ahead and put it on, and I just get it close. It doesn't have to be uh, exact at this time. So what you want to do now is get your double-sided tape, and you use your O-ring as your guide. Okay. Like that. And what I do is I like to. If I can see a starting point with my utility knife, I will. I'll start it right here just to give it a, a little chance to start. You, you can also do it while it's on, but I like to start it before it's even on the grip. So what you do, there's, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Some, if you have the three quarter inch tape, you just roll it on just like that. I use the, the, the larger, wider tape, and it's just a one-time shot. And you go like this, get it on there nice and even, and you just roll it, just roll it. And you can feel the stickiness. I like to go ahead and put it over the end also, so when you start your grip, there's no hassle it doesn't get caught on the end or anything like that. So, now you just make sure that's tight. And we, now, because of the diameter of the shaft, it gets smaller towards this, this side. And what I like to do is double up the tape towards the end. It doesn't have to be a lot. It just kind of helps the looseness of it. So again, I just like to start it with 
separate, you know, it's double sided tape. So I like to separate it. It's real easy. There we go. And what I like to do is you can either go this way, this way, it doesn't make any difference. I like going this way because it takes up a little more of that space. Very easy. We are almost ready to install the tape. So all you do, you can get this at uh, its golf uh, grip solvent. I've used a lot of things. I've used carburetor cleaner. I've used a bunch of stuff. So if you don't have this, use your imagination. But this is, this is what the professionals use to actually install the old rubber grips. So it's the same thing. All I do is here, but I, what I usually do is just put a trash can underneath. Okay, that's all there is to it. You grab your new woody grip. All you do is insert it on there, just like that. And what you do is you line the, the flattest part or the, the part where you want to put your thumbs perpendicular to the club face down here. So what I do is I just, I can line it up and right about there. Now, what you do is you roll the O-ring into the chamfered area. And now you wait. Usually takes around 24 hours uh, to actually get that grip solvent and the tape to adhere to each other and to grip onto the wood itself. Other than that, that's all there is to installing a woody grip. Thank you.